Welcome to our tutorial on the variable offset command. Let's begin by creating a sketch on the YZ axis. Activate the line tool. Let's create a line now, and then a second line. Right about here. Exit the sketch. Deselect everything. Now activate the disassemble tool. Select the sketch we just created. In this case, all cells or all domains work in the same way. Click OK. We've got two curves now. Right click on Sketch 1 and put it in No Show. Now activate the Connect Curve command. We'll select this point and this point. Under Continuity Type, we need to select Tangency, or G1 at least. You can also select Curvature, or G2. I'm going to select Tangency, and click OK. Now let's activate the Extrude command. I'll undock the toolbar. Select Curve 1. Right-click in the Direction field and choose the X-axis. Enter a value of 50 millimeters for the dimension, tab, and OK. Activate the extrude command again. Under Profile, select Connect 1. Under Direction, select the X axis, 50 millimeters again, OK. And let's do it one more time. Select Curve 2. Under Direction, choose the X axis, OK. Next, let's use the Join command to join these three surfaces together. OK. Now let's put Join 1 in No Show. And let's bring up Extrudes 1, 2, and 3. Right click, Properties. Let's change the color. We'll do it for the other two extrudes as well. OK. And right click Properties. OK. Next, let's activate the Variable Offset command. It's on the Surfaces toolbar, a subtool of the Offset Variable command. Under Global Surface, select Join 1. That's why we created this surface to begin with. Now let's select Extrudes 1, 2, and 3. As you see, they now populate the Subpart to Offset selection box. Under Offset Value, we currently have a 0 mm value. Let's select Extrude 1 and enter 10 mm. Tab. Under Extrude 3, 40 mm. Tab. The middle surface, Extrude 2, lets uncheck constant offset. This offset will connect the other two offsets, so we need it to be variable. Let's reverse the direction. Click Preview. And click OK. You now see variable offset 1 in the specification tree. We can double click on it to modify some parameters. Right here is a second tab called Sub Elements to Remove. Let's select it. Let's select Extrude 2 and click Preview. Click OK. Opt to keep all the sub elements. OK. As a result, we end up with two surfaces which appear in our specification tree as variable offset 1. Let's double click on the feature again. Select the Sub Elements to Remove tab. Right click and choose Clear Selection. Now return to the Parameters tab. If I try to offset it more, let's say 60 millimeters, tab and preview. 
Okay, that worked. Let's try a greater value, 90 millimeters. Preview. Katia gives us a warning message. Some sub-elements are erroneous. Katia wants to remove one of the sub-elements. Let's click Yes to accept Katia's suggestion. I see a warning in my workspace now. Let's mouse over it to get more information and suggestions. Some offset values are too large. Reduce the values or modify the surface. Let's click on the sub-elements to remove tab. Here I see the face that Katia removed for me. The middle element that was removed. Let's click OK and OK to keep all the sub-elements. Let me show you one more thing. We're going to double-click on Connect 1. Let's make some adjustments here. Under the First Curves Continuity drop-down menu, let's select Point. Katia gives us an error message. A constant offset has not been used. Basically, in order for a variable offset to work, Surfaces need to have a G1 curvature continuity or G2 curvature continuity. We do have a problem here. OK. Katia gives us more of the same information here about our problem. Let's close this information window. Double click on our variable offset. It's still possible to use this option as a regular offset in this case. Let's enter 10 millimeters for all values. And let's preview. And click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the variable offset command.